Hi everyone, hopefully okay. So I didn't get round to filming my dream favourites in the end. Well I did film it but I couldn't put it up because of the problems with my laptop and the internet. And then I went on holiday so by the time I got back it was too late. So I thought I would do a mixture of my June and July favourites. So to be honest there wasn't kind of many from each month so to be honest it's probably quite a good thing I'm doing them together. So I'm going to get started. First of all you all know that I've just got back off my holiday from America and obviously one of the most important things to take with you when you're away is sun cream and I always really struggle to find um, facial sun cream because I've got quite oily breakout prone skin and I used to use a L'Oreal one that always made me really really break out badly. So I decided to try the La Roche-Posay um, their sun protection basically, it's SPF 30 um, and it's for like oily skin um, there's no perfume in it, I'm just trying to look, I think it was on the box but it basically said that um, it's good for oily skin, it doesn't break you out so I thought that was like a really good thing to try and I got it actually sent to me by this online pharmacy called Mysteries, Mysteries Pharmacy so I put the link down to them um, below but basically I really liked it I didn't really like it under makeup I wore it under makeup to like Disney World and stuff and I felt that on a hot day it just made my makeup just slide off my face but when I used this on its own with no kind of makeup it worked really really well and it didn't break me out so I definitely would recommend that if you've got skin that kind of breaks out quite easily and you haven't found a sun protection they also do an SPF 52 if you've got fairer skin also another skincare product, I've been using this since I got back off my holiday because my face definitely needed a bit of TLC, it, like it does after the sun, it's always a bit dried out. And um, So I've been using the Manica Doctor Appy Clear Facial Moisturising Lotion. Now, I got this ages ago and I used it and I didn't really think much of it, so I kind of haven't used it that much since, but I've been really enjoying using it the past few days. It's made my skin really plump, it's made it really moisturised, and... It helps also like the cause of blemishes too, so it kind of clears your skin at the same time. So I've been really liking that, so I'll keep you posted how I'm getting on with that. But hopefully um, I'll continue to like be happy with it. So next up, another skincare product. I bought this when I was over in America and it's the Original Super Spot Remover. When I got over there and like the week before I went on holiday, I had a really bad breakout. I think it was kind of due to the whole stress of packing and the fact that I started my new job so kind of everything just came out and I needed a spot cream I got this for ten dollars which is obviously a bit of a bargain compared with the price that it is here and it kind of just made me realize how much this works um, my breakout was literally gone within a couple of days and now I'm going to just make sure that whenever I get a spot I'm going to put this straight onto it because it's the only kind of spot treatment that I've used that actually works and even though it's £12 for that tiny little bottle, I'm sure I will continue to purchase it because, like I said, it's the only one that I feel that really, really worked on me. Um, another kind of skincare product, kind of, I've been really liking these eye makeup removers. They're from Boots and they're called Simply Sensitive. I find that when I use my, like, my toning water, it kind of, if I used it for my eye makeup too, I would get through it so quickly. So I bought some of these eye makeup remover. Um... From Boots, I think they're about £1.17, you get a pack of 30 and they're really good, they're really good for sensitive eyes, they're not rough, they're not harsh, they take all your makeup off including waterproof mascara, I mean your eye makeup, I didn't use them on my face, including waterproof mascara, so I've been really enjoying using them and they're, they're cheap, they're cheerful and they come in a little packet so they were really good for taking away with me. Next up is a body care product, obviously when you come back off your holiday the dreaded peeling starts and me and my boyfriend the past few days have been peeling like mad and it's like no we want to stop, we want to keep the tan for as long as possible so I made a mad dash to boots to pick up some moisturiser and I've already blogged about this, so I'll put the link down below, it's the Dove Indulgement Nourishment Body Lotion um, this is going to go in my June favourites and I absolutely love it, it's on offer in boots at the moment, it smells lovely, this is the sheer butter one it smells lovely, it keeps your skin really moisturised all day and it's just, it's a really really nice moisturiser. I felt that it lasted me quite a long time, it's really thick, it's really creamy, so I really like that. So I picked that up and then I got the Intensive Nourishment for Extra Dry Skin and this is the one that me and my boyfriend have been using to kind of stop ourselves peeling. And I have to say it's working okay at the moment, it's not as nice smelling as this one, this one is my favourite, but it's doing an alright job at the moment and this is what we've been using so yeah this is what we've been using to kind of help 
with the peeling, but they're really, really nice body moisturisers, and I'd say that go pick them up whilst they're in boots. I think they're about three, four pound each, so it's not too bad. Another kind of holiday product, and I know that this favourites video is quite holiday based, but these are all products that I used when I was on holiday, so I might do like a holiday beauty product essential video if people want to see that. But something else I loved when I was away was this Carmex um, moisturising lip balm. I always forget to put SPF on my lips because you don't particularly want to put sun cream on your lips because that would just taste horrible. So I took this away with me, it's got an SPF of 15 and I have to take it to trip my lips didn't burn and it's basically just like a lip gloss so you look like you've got lip gloss on and it protects your lips at the same time. It smells as strawberry so that's always a bonus. So yeah I really really like that and I completely would recommend picking it up if you're going off on holiday because obviously it protects your lips. It smells nice, it looks good, and I heard through the great friend of Penny Cheryl Cole is a fan too. Um, next, another makeup product. Now, you're never going to believe that I'm going to say this, but I'm actually bored of my Naked palette. I've been using it now since April 2011. I don't really like the Naked 2 palette, so it's got to the point where I'm a little bit bored of it. So, when I was away on holiday, I wasn't really wearing that much makeup, and I'm kind of not really back to wearing that much makeup yet either. So I decided to use this other palette that I took with me, which is this Bobbi Brown palette, which I got for Christmas. And I kind of used to use it on and off, but this is what I've been using for literally the past couple of weeks. And this is it here. And I've been absolutely loving this, this colour here, which is called Champagne Quartz. And then the brown here, which is called Mahogany. And what I do is I put the shimmery kind of champagne colour all over the lid, and then the dark brown colour along the lash line and kind of smoke it in. And I have to say it's a really nice palette, there's lots of different kind of colours, but those two are my favourites. I have to say the Bobbi Brown makeup, it is nice, it is expensive, but you kind of get what you pay for. And I know that there's a new, I think it's called Twilight palette out, and I have to say I was very tempted to get it whilst I was in America, but I didn't. But it looks really, really nice. But yeah, I really like the Bobbi Brown makeup and I've been really enjoying using their eyeshadows this month. Never makeup product, but this one's slightly cheaper. It's from the Accessorised Beauty range, and this was due to be put in my June favourites, and it's their brow pencil. I think this is under three pound, I think, and this is the colour. I think it's like Faro One, oh, shade shade one brown. And what it is, you've got the one side is a pencil, like that, and then the other side is a little eyebrow brush. Now I've never been good with my eyebrows. I get them threaded, but. I've never been properly good with kind of shaping or filling them in. I used to just fill them in with like a dark brown eyeshadow, but I could never get any shape to them. That was until kind of I started using this. I find that this is really kind of easy to use. You can get a shape really easily and then the brush really, really helps too. So it makes them look really kind of polished. And I have to say it's really, really cheap. When I was in America, I did check out the Anastasia products which I know that Pixie will use but to be honest they look very similar to these so I thought well, there's no point spending money on something that probably does just the same thing. I'm tempted to go and get the darker version of this um, but yeah I really really like this and I completely would recommend going to pick one up because they're really cheap but it's really good too. Also from the accessorised range I've been really liking this perfume. Um, I can't remember what this one's called actually. I think it's called Enhan Enchanted but I will check. Um, but yeah, I got this sent to me, and I, when I first got it, I was like, I bet it's going to smell minging, it's not going to be very nice, but I have to say, I was so wrong, and I've been using it ever since. It kind of reminds me of Britney Spears' Fantasy, which I used a lot when I was younger, so it kind of takes me back to my youth. But it's a really kind of fun, floral, not floral, fruity fragrance. Um, yeah, it's quite fruity. It's quite sweet, so yeah, I really like it. It's very kind of young and flirty, would you say? But I also really like the packaging. I mean, how cute is that? I think this retails for about fifteen pound from Superdrug, so um, it's pretty cheap for a perfume. And I just think the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. It's one of those bottles that you like to put on your dressing table for display. So yeah, I've been really liking that, and I was pleasantly surprised at how nice it smelled. So if you kind of like fruity scents, then go test it out. I definitely would recommend it. Another makeup product, one that I picked up in America, is the Tarte Amazon, Amazonian Clay Blush in Tipsy. It's the most gorgeous kind of corally, peachy colour ever, and I have to say, I'm a little bit in love with it. It's kind of overtaken my favourite blush position. I've been wearing it every day since I bought it, which is in Miami, so that was like over a week ago now. So I've been, yeah, really, really loving this. It's really pigmented, it lasts all day, and yeah. 
I really like it. So definitely recommend picking one up if you're going to America or if you live there and you haven't got one yet. And finally, my last two favourite products are probably ones that have been featured in so many different favourites videos that you're probably a little bit bored of seeing them now. But I could not include them because to me, these have been a bit of a lifesaver. It's of course the kind of the nail varnish remover pots. I bought the border roll one a little while ago from Boots for 4 99 And then I picked up this dupe in Home Bargains for 89p. Now I am going to do a blog post on these once I've kind of settled back in and I've kind of got all my holiday posts out of the way. So look out for them. But I kind of wanted to include them. I think these are a brilliant invention. Yes, they've been out for quite a long time but I think they're fantastic. The fact that you just stick your finger in, roll it around and the nail varnish is gone just makes things so much easier. Removing your nail varnish is so much quicker. Um, it also smells really good too. So yeah, I've been really liking these. have to say that this one from Home Bargains, it's a little bit smaller so this is the one I took on holiday with me because it's obviously not as big and bulky. It was 89p so this is about £4 cheaper than this one and it does basically the same job. Um, it has got, start, I don't know if you can see that, but it started to go a bit kind of shredded inside, but to be honest I don't really mind when you're paying 89p, so if you've got like a home bargains, or I think they're also called BMs, go pick one of these up, because they do exactly the same job as the border one, but it's a lot, lot cheaper. So that's kind of like my dupe thing, but I've been absolutely loving the both of them. They both do a really, really good job. They make removing your nail varnish so much more kind of efficient. I loved using them on holiday because it just meant that I could change my nail varnish like a lot, lot quicker. And it also meant that I didn't have to take any nail varnish remover with me. I didn't have to take those horrible pads. I could just pop this in and it was so small. It went into my case, no problem. So there we have it, my June and July favourites. There wasn't, I don't know, there was quite a bit in the end, but hopefully not too much. Um, so yeah, so I'm kind of getting back into the swing of making videos again, I'm kind of finding myself to have time, which is brilliant. So let me know if you've got any requests for videos, for either like makeup looks, or just kind of random rambly videos, um, then yeah, please let me know. So I hope you're all well, I hope you all had a good June and July, and I will see you soon. Bye!